White House spokesperson Kayleigh McEnany used the term Armenian genocide during her most recent press briefing. While criticizing protesters who have desecrated memorials across the country, McEnany referred to an Armenian genocide memorial by its proper name. There seems to be a lack of understanding and historical knowledge when the Armenian genocide memorial, remembering victims of all crimes against humanity, including slavery, is vandalized, McEnany said. She seemed to be referring to the Armenian genocide memorial in Denver that was vandalized several weeks ago. And as the Washington Post noted, the Trump White House finally, if unintentionally, invokes the Armenian Genocide. A total of 349 new cases of COVID-19 were reported in Armenia on Tuesday, bringing the total number to 29,285. The death toll has reached 503. The total number of tests conducted so far is 125,088. Also 11,711 people are currently being treated. According to the latest data, 16,907 people have recovered thus far. The Armenian government understands that it can't constantly extend the state of emergency, but it is most likely that the state of emergency will be extended again, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan told a briefing. We'll try to improve the legislation on states of emergency in such a way that the government have the tools to lead a certain anti-epidemic policy when the state of emergency is lifted, the Prime Minister added. Armenian Health Minister Arsene Tarosyan spoke about the talks to buy the future COVID-19 vaccine. About 200 vaccines are currently being developed around the world, about 20 of which have a good chance of becoming a final product, he noted. According to him, public health experts believe there will be a vaccine and that's why the countries are already discussing the issue of buying the future vaccine. He added that Armenia has decided to at least start such talks with manufacturers as well as collective buyers such as UNICEF, WTO and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, that can buy batches and evenly distribute for 100 countries at once. Only the presence of a vaccine will allow us to return to a normal life without masks, Torosian noted. Kim Kardashian called on her millions of social media followers to support small businesses in Armenia by donating to Armenia's support fund. Consider donating to Armenia's support fund. Help provide COVID-19 aid to struggling small businesses in Armenia, the reality show star and successful businesswoman wrote. The TV star also published the names of several companies which especially need support in this regard. Armenia's support fund has partnered with the Paros Foundation to launch the Armenia COVID-19 Small Business Support Initiative to raise funds to support the business-related needs of family-owned small businesses that are negatively impacted by COVID-19 in Armenia.